All right, here's a quick overview of cleanpanda.com. All right, really nice looking site, great images. All right, now let's take a look at the rankings real quick and then we'll see how we can possibly improve them. Okay, so when I put in cleanpanda.com, let's do an overview. Okay, so just a little bit of traffic, good amount of keywords. Let's check, check out the uh, organic positions here. All right, and this this is normal. You know, that's just a normal fluctuation. Welcome. That's totally fine. Keywords have been nice and steady for a while. All right, here are some of your current positions for the keywords that you're looking for. And you'll see that they're all on, well, not all of them, but these are on, like, page two. So you got to add a little more there. So you're definitely, all your keywords you want to hit, are within striking distance. You can see, you know, page three. But all great keywords here. But you're not getting any traffic. Here's the traffic percentage. Just because they're on page, you know, two, three, four. So you need, definitely need to work those keywords up. Let's take a look at some of the backlinks for it. All right. So the trust flow is pretty low in relation to the citation flow. You want this to, to be higher. You, you do that by adding higher trust for, uh, flow links. And then see here you'll have a thousand backlinks, right? Which, you know, we know backlinks are really good. But here's the problem. It's only coming from 47 different domains. And those domains are hosted on only 17 different IPs. So even though there's a lot of links, it really only counts as 17 because these domains share the same IP. And when you look at the links, you can kind of see that. We'll take a glance at them. See, like, um, direct directory, ask link, pirate directory, directory 4, directory 10, um, sublime link. So these are all free web links. These are all kind of free links, directory 8, directory 6, directory 5, just directory. So you know, I'm not going to say these are bad, but, you know, it looks like, according to over here, they're all coming from similar IP addresses. So whoever hosts all these sites didn't do a good job on putting them all on separate IPs. But, so you do got some link juice coming in. Another thing is your anchor text. There's some problems there. If we go down here and look at this, Houston Cleaning Company and Cleaning Service Houston. Those are money keywords, and they're they're your biggest numbers. Um, what you want to do is you want to have brand, like Clean Panda, and also URL, like this one right here, Clean Panda. Like these, the, you need some more of these um, regular URL links. When Google sees that you have mostly money sites, and especially sharing the same, you know, Houston Cleaning Company. When you have 300 links showing Houston Cleaning Company, it just looks really unnatural to Google. So you're going to want to add a lot of brand links. And actually what's good for that would be a press release. You can pick what kind of anchor text you want. So I would recommend doing a press release. It's going to get you, you know, anywhere from 50 links within the first, you know, month. And it's going to register a whole bunch more, maybe 100, 200 when it's all said and done. And you can, I would say, do brand anchor text and uh, URL anchor text get these uh, money keywords percentages down like that and get your brand and anchor really big but you know you guys have a lot of links to start but we want to get this trust flow up add more brand and naked anchor text that should help with uh, moving these keywords up and with your domain authority and let's look at the on page real quick I notice a few on page errors uh, real small so when we go to view page source we can look at the html of it uh, control g will bring up the search and when we search h1 your h1 and your h2 are pretty important as far as telling google what your site is about so your h1 book professional cleaning services in one minute 
you know, it's not terrible, but a better H1 might be made in cleaning services in Houston, Texas. You know, if that's the only city you're targeting. So your H1 and your H2 is where you want to put in some of your money keywords, but make them look natural. So that would be something to take in consideration. And also, you only want one H1. You have two on this page. You go down here, there's another one, home cleaning. So I would make this an H2. And maybe make that a little longer, like home cleaning and maid services in Houston. That's your H2 right there. And um, if your web designer doesn't know how to do that, just let me know and I can show them how. So here's an H2. Build your career with us. You see, for the H1 and H2, I really like to use keywords. You know, if you want to make this te this text bigger, just make the text bigger, but don't make it an H2. Or if you want, just slip in a couple extra keywords here, like build your. Oh, that's a tough one. Yeah, that might be tough, but definitely um, you can add some more in this one. And this one I would change. Not not big deals. You know, I'm just throwing out a few things. That, that would help. Also, probably some more text on this home page, this landing page. You know, you can maybe add about 20, 30 words in each of these things. And uh, add in some keywords, you know, like made, cleaning. See, like right here you have a little bit of cleaning services. But I would add in more more of your keywords in here. You want You want to get some more text so you can rank some more different related keywords. And also use variations too. So made services, services, home made services, commercial cleaning services. You know, just mix in more keywords here in the text. House cleaning. Yeah, so here's some good uh, keywords mixed in. Um, one thing, if you look down here, you'll see these target URLs, you see how they're ID 20, view question mark, ID equals 20. It'd be better if these URLs actually had, you know, were like backslash home cleaning services slash product slash home cleaning services slash product slash car wash detailing instead of ID equals 27, ID equals 28. You know, the URL is going to help you rank for those keywords also. So that's just something you might want to fix those pages. Let's go to one just to see it. So this is a carpet cleaning landing page. All right. So that's good. It's got some some text on here. Maybe a little bit more I'd put in there. But you see how it says view ID equals 28. I'd like that to say product slash carpet cleaning. Now you can go in there and just change the uh, URL on that. Now you might want to be careful. Let me see. So yeah, this this one page has a thousand backlinks going to it. I just wanted to make sure that. Okay. Yeah, so see these services products view ID was 36. You don't have any backlinks going to those, so you can change the URL of those of those pages, and it won't affect anything. That's good. For instance, if, if if this page right here, see VOID X29, I'm not sure which, which page that was, but let's just say it was home cleaning. Okay, it has zero backlinks. If it did have backlinks, then I might create a new page, product slash home cleaning, and then make this page redirect to that. But since you don't have any backlinks going to these pages, um, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. You could just change the uh, URL structure here. The permalink it's called if you're using WordPress. All right, and then that's so this is your carpet cleaning page. This is going to help you rank for carpet cleaning words. But if we go to page source, all right, so your H1 over here is carpet cleaning. That's fine. Um, if you wanted to target some more cities, you could put, you know, best Houston carpet cleaning or carpet cleaning in Houston, Texas. Here's your H1, but Cup cleaning is good. Let's see here. All right, and we got another H1 in here. Start here. So 
you have dual H1s on this page also. Okay, so here's another H1. So, I mean, this page, you know, the, the site's set up nice. There, there's small little on-page errors. But one of the main things that's easy to fix on my end would be this anchor text over here. You definitely want to get more links with brand and URL anchor text. That would be, I would say, the biggest thing. The second thing would be these on-page issues like uh, dual H1s, stuff like that. But nothing, I mean, this is a nice site. And you're already, when you go over to Seminar, you're already ranking. I mean, you're already, you know, getting some action on these keywords, which is nice. Those are really great keywords. We just got to get them up to page one. Ooh, made service Houston. That would be a good one. See the volume on that? A thousand. So I would say this would be a pretty, pretty good keyword to uh, target maybe in your homepage H1. So made service Houston. So, book professional cleaning and maid services in Houston might be a good, you know, H1 here. Help you get this keyword to page one, get you some good volume. All right, I hope that helped. If you want any more details on, you know, maybe how I would do that work as far as what types of links and stuff like that, let me know. Otherwise, you can pass this uh, over to your web designer. Maybe he can make a few. I'm a little on-page changes for you. All right, thanks.